Well, there are a couple of pretty well-known plugins that will control pitch. And there is an elastic audio component that controls pitch. So let's take a look at that. I've got my announcer back here. I've muted all the other stuff. I've taken off the warps and the analysis here. So I'm just back to one, two, three, the old one, two, three, four that I counted off initially. So it's interesting. The analysis and the warp are still there. They're not grayed out, but the pitch component of elastic audio is not found in the track area. It's in the clip menu and it's down toward the bottom, elastic properties. So we'll bring up this little plugin and we can see that we are applying it to announcer 0101. That's this guy over here. And we'll set maybe two semitones up and take a listen. One, two, three. Four, two, two, three, four. So we haven't messed with the time, the tempo of the performance. We're only changing the pitch. So let's go minus three. See what that sounds like. One, two, three, four, two, two, three. It's getting very ransom node E. Now, what good is this? Well, if you're trying to fine tune a vocal performance or a string note or, you know, guitar note or something, there's no absolute pitch reference here. You don't know how many cents out of tune it is. You just really have this kind of global approach to pitch changing. You have control over the semitones and the cents in between. So let me set this back to zero. And let's say that typically in a vocal, you don't want to change the pitch of everything in there. You just want to change the pitch of a little something. Let me get out of grid mode. So we'll do Command E to edit this. And then in this little announcer 03, let's change his sense to, let's go up 50 cents. That's close enough. And we should hear a change in pitch now when we move across that region. Four, two, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do one more. Let's change him make him a region, and we'll take him down a semitone. And let's listen across the edits now. Four, two, two, three, four. Okay. So you have pitch change inside of a clip now. And if you wanted to get even more precise, imagine, if you will, that this is a singer note. And right there is where the singer goes a little flat. So you would command E that and just change your pitch for that little piece. And it stays right in the timeline. It has this overlay attached to it, and it will adjust the pitch as you play it along in time. So that's the elastic component that deals with pitch. Again, it's found in the clip menu down here toward the bottom, elastic properties.